Massey University's College of Creative Arts has been leading creativity for well over 125 years and it's also established a great reputation for working closely with industry. It has a wonderful alumni who are all over the world leading design, creativity and innovation. And behind me you see a building that's going to take us into the 21st century. When we set the brief for the building, we wanted a building that was going to provide flexible teaching and learning spaces for staff and students. We also wanted a building that was going to be really well designed and we wanted a building that was going to be sustainable and seismically safe. We collaborated with Arrow International on a competition brief. Arrow International had been privileged to be involved with the College of Creative Arts project. One of our first um, tasks was to organise and manage an architectural design competition. That competition brief went out to all New Zealand architects and we received 34 submissions. That was narrowed down to four and from that four we selected Athfield architects who were the most responsive to our brief. So when this competition came up we saw it as a really good opportunity to extend some of the work we have been doing in learning environments um, and also to extend some of the technologies that we've been working with um, in sustainability and in seismic resilience. The major challenge for the design team was, was to create a space and spaces within the building that were inspiring, yet robust and flexible and allowed for a range of different creative processes. So we worked very closely with Jane Thornton. This building is leading the change in terms of how structures respond to earthquakes. Instead of absorbing the earthquake energy throughout the structure, we have specific devices that absorb the earthquake energy and the main structure rocks during the earthquake. The analogy I draw is with this children's toy, there are large cables in this building, the earthquake pushes the building, the cables then pull the joints back together again and right the building. And that means that the building can be used straight after the earthquake, unlike some buildings in Christchurch which absorbed the damage in the structure and therefore had to be pulled down after the earthquake. So this technology has come out of the field of concrete. Canterbury University then looked at using it for wood frames, being the first of this type of frame in the world is now world leading technology developed in New Zealand that is ready for export. While all projects have the challenges, doing something for the first time uh, requires quite a bit of collaboration and problem solving. It's usually pretty straightforward to prop and brace a structural frame, but in this case we were propping and bracing something that had never been built before. A combination of compression braces and tension braces will run both directions. So what we've done with these floor units is a bit special. We've made the timber and the concrete work together to give strength and stiffness to the floor. To increase productivity and on-site quality control, we prefabricated the LVL columns, beams, composite floor slabs, and even the unitized curtain wall system. We also prefabricated the roof in purpose-built jigs that were designed to mimic the roof pitch and set out, and in the end, we were installing up to four sections of roof in a single day. That's 225 square meters. Thanks to the hard work of the project team, we are pleased to advise that the project will be finished well ahead of schedule is significantly under budget. One of the great things about, about this project has been the way that um, you know, Massey through their briefing and collaboration has encouraged this project to be, um, you know, to operate on a number of levels. I think for us the key things are that it's a very specific response to this site. It's dug into the, into the hillside and it um, connects the campus. Um, it's a very specific response to the college and the way that they work, the way they operate. Um, and that goes right from the, the kind of rigour and the detail on the way the components are made in this building. Um, but also in the way that the spaces are flexible, um, have multi-use, and ultimately their character is determined by the way that the students here um, will use the space. This building is a world-class facility that doesn't exist anywhere else in New Zealand. There are some amazing spaces in this building that is going to be so inspirational to our students, to prospective students. They're going to be able to produce work in these spaces using these facilities, the technology here, that nobody else has been able to produce before and that they're going to really take design, creativity and art into the 21st century. It's incredibly exciting. New Zealand needs to embrace creativity and innovation because that's what this century is all about. Whether you are in the public sector, private business or the community, you will grow and flourish by grasping these ideas. Massey University intends to lead the way. That's why we call ourselves the engine of the new New Zealand. Come join us.